Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Macandra. Today I'm going to talk about some few things. One is the has to do with the the, the Igbo should leave Lagos. The Lagos protest against the Igbo. Uh, since the protest started, uh, 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 the federal government has been trying their best to make sure that it it won't it won't last. And even the presidential address yesterday wasn't good enough because it didn't address the key point of uh, the sufferings of the common nigerians and we don't need such things like uh, tribalism coming in between to play to make sure that we didn't protest i, I believe all of us are having hard times uh, some persons cannot even afford a good meal even one square meal a day is becoming a problem so there's no need for all that we have to do this for our children, or our younger ones, for our fathers who are sick, who cannot even uh, do anything, who are going through a lot of bad times. We all are going through a lot of bad times. And the next thing we have to do, to, we, have, we need is not just to come here and talk about uh, you are an Igbo man. You are, the last time we checked, all of us, we are one Nigeria. Nobody is uh, going having a nice time, except maybe uh you are maybe your father is a politician even if your father is a politician one day he will leave that seat and he will come back to continue from where the funny thing about it is that are we going to forget about the original protests that we are doing or focus on protesting against our own brothers which is the Hebrew people sometimes i wonder the way we think you cannot tell me what happened in 1966 and bring it up to this level we are bigger than that how much was the population of Nigeria in 1966? We will retool this government. A damage of over 60 years and 60 years of misgovernance cannot be turned around overnight. Let's hang on to hope. There's nothing more effective that can drive you, you know, better than hope and belief. When he was not in government, he used to say a lot of things concerning protests. Nigeria will fall. Nigeria will do this. Uh, we have to reduce food subsidy. We don't have to remove subsidy. All that. But now he's the same person on seat that is, is making sure that people don't go and protest. That he continue protest because he has a petition refinery in Malta. So we have guys have to wise up. Have to plan well for ourselves. We can't continue to live in Nigeria like this. Today, you bring this tribalism, maybe you are paid a few money, but later on, that money will be gone. You will be left with no money. When, before you know it, you come back to square one and start still planning again. Don't let these people use you. Please. Let's do this protest carefully. So that you have something to talk about. Maybe, maybe a change will may happen. So forget about you, Biafra. All of us, we are going through a lot. There's no Biafra food. There's no Biafra crude oil. All of us are buying crude oil from one source. And the crude oil now is expensive. Even here, me and here, the, the, I heard that the, that the fuel has even gone to 1,200 per liter. Where are we going from here? Imagine, even this, the minimum wage, they said it's 70,000 naira. The proposed minimum wage is not enough. Even though uh, it's going to be enough for people that are working in government, what about people that are not working? What is their, what is their own kind? Of, where are they going, what are they going to do? Because not everybody is working. The proposal, all of us should stand in one accord to make sure that the federal government clings to our demands. They're paying for subsidies, so there's no need. I don't even know whether they remove our subsidies even with. Because we can't... We, we can't you can remove sources that are still buying fuel at this level, at that kind of price of 1200 It's so sad. Please. Let's all be one and do the right thing and do the needful. 